Along with slips, trips and falls, manual handling is one of the most common causes of injury in construction. And the results of poor manual handling can often lead to lifelong problems. Manual handling is defined as any transporting or supporting of a load by hand or bodily force. This could be picking up, putting down, pushing, pulling, carrying or just moving. To reduce the risk of injury, we follow a four-step risk assessment called tile. T, what is the task? What needs to go where? I, what are the capabilities of the individual involved? L, what is the load? E, what is the environment like? Let's look at these in more detail. Does the manual handling task mean you need to twist, stoop, stretch, bend, push or pull? Do you have to lower or position the load? Is there any sudden movement of the load? Does it involve long periods of manual handling? Does it involve a team of people? Things to think about. Is the person physically capable? Do they have any health issues or any other conditions that may make it dangerous for them to do the job? Is the load heavy or bulky? Does it obstruct vision? Are there any sharp edges? Is it difficult to grip? Is the load likely to move or the weight likely to shift? Where is the manual handling being done? Are there space constraints? Is it an uneven, slippery or unstable floor? Are there steps or differences in floor levels? Are there other people or equipment that we need to think about? We must approach any manual handling the same way as laid down in the Manual Handling Operations Regulations 1992. First, we must try to avoid the need for hazardous manual handling, so far as is reasonably practicable. So, whenever possible, use mechanical means. That could be anything from a handheld device to a telehandler, forklift truck or a crane. If we can't avoid manual handling, we need to assess the risk of injury. We must carry out a risk assessment and let people know about the controls that need to be put in place. We must always look for ways to reduce the risk of injury from hazardous manual handling so far as is reasonably practicable. So, for example, instead of carrying a clumsy object, we could place it on a trolley and pull the trolley. You must approach any manual handling task with care. Plan the lift properly and make sure you can get a firm hold. Bend the knees and hips slightly and use the power in your legs to lift, but that doesn't mean starting in a squat position. Don't stoop down to pick something up. Avoid twisting or overstretching when carrying anything heavy. People often underestimate the risks involved in manual handling. It only takes a second to pull a muscle or damage your back, which could mean you being unable to work for weeks or months and leave effects that last a lifetime. Don't take risks with manual handling. <laughs>